Because we are behind the scenes at Griffin's Florist this morning in Hannibal. Now, this is the storage area where a lot of the things are kept before they head out to doors and homes around the tri-states. But what we really want to show you right now is very impressive. This is Rich Griffin. He is a um, the owner here, a co-owner here, and he's going to show you what's behind this door. This is a cooler full of all of the orders they've already processed. Show us this door. That's this what, is impressive. That's what we did last night. This is what you did last <laughs> night. My goodness, and there's hundreds and hundreds of vases in here. Right. How early and how late do you guys actually have to stay the night before, the morning of, to get all of this done? Uh, we worked over 13 hours yesterday. <laughs> we had uh, about four designers going, and <clears throat> actually we had about 18 people here yesterday working. Wow, and, wow. Uh, counting deliveries and everything. So. so you've been staying up late with the owls and getting up early with the chickens yes, the last couple of days. <laughs> well, one of the busiest days of the year, one question a lot of people say, ask me at least when we go out and do these stories, which is the busier day, Mother's Day or Valentine's Day? Well, Mother's Day lasts all weekend, but that's a really big weekend. It's a little different type of holiday. We have mm -hmm. plants and outdoor things for that holiday. Valentine's is uh, more fresh cut flowers. Okay, so it's a lot more work intensive than it, it sounds like. It is. Wonderful. Well, we are talking all about flowers, but coming up, we're going to talk a little bit about the helium shortage. A lot of people have not been seeing balloons flying high around the tri states for the last six months or so. Coming up, we're going to show you why that was happening and if you could expect helium balloons this year.